overdosed Alex Jones and what we're being fed is a steady massive diet of lies, lies, and still more lies. And we're putting together a compilation right now. Rob Dew is. We're going to be playing coming up at the bottom of the hour of an Indiana, Washington State, and other areas when the police are asked, why do you have these MRAPs, these armored vehicles from the Pentagon? They say, we need to be able to fight sovereign citizens or libertarians or the Tea Party. Now, just add that to all the training manuals and all the admissions, and then we start getting footage from Florida and California and other states this week that we've been airing. And every time we get footage, they're training to attack and beat and arrest and shoot and kill patriots. And then now we have chilling footage of armed army forces, National Guard, blocking roads in California and marching around, basically commanding the public. This is what a slow motion martial law scenario looks like. And I want to explain something. It isn't that martial law is coming. We're under a form of martial law when the feds seized the airports and started searching everyone. We're under martial law when the president dissolves the borders outside of law. We're under tyranny when they sign us on to over half the global derivatives debt that is private and not ours. It's 2.2 quadrillion worldwide. Do the math. That's over 100 trillion, excuse me, 1,000 trillion. These numbers are so huge that they say we owe that we have no connection to. Our real debt is 19 trillion. That's our debt, not 1,100 trillion. That's half of the 2.2 quadrillion. Just five years ago, USA Today said that we owed six. Hundred and sixty something trillion. That was our percentage. But derivatives have only gotten bigger. But our share was 600 plus trillion. We talk about trillions now where we just round off a few hundred. This is the world being maneuvered towards total and absolute enslavement. And we have the military in the RAND Corporation and in all their high-level documents that are public admitting they're preparing to take over the states, preparing to basically nationalize labor, preparing to bring us into a North American Union security zone, as it's called. And they say in the Banff Canada meetings from 2007 that they would have this global transformation by stealth and by crisis. So used to we'd have a military drill every you know, week that we would have in the news. Now it's 20, 30, 40, 50 a day. It's tanks rolling around, it's checkpoints, it's citizens being drug out of cars, it's National Guard and Army and Marines marching around uh, very aggressively uh, with their hands on their M16s. We have the latest footage shot in Ontario, California by Felipe Soto. I'd like to get him on and get his take about that. We've got another California citizen reporter joining us today. Uh, that shot the footage of the drills that we were told we were barred from, where they're screaming, I'm a citizen, I have rights, I'm a sovereign citizen, then they're clubbed to the ground. Do you understand every other country in history has ended up falling to criminal elements inside the government that militarize the police and merge the military with the police? The military fights and kills and breaks things. The military fights a foreign enemy. Police keep the peace and are peace officers and report to the local government and bring people in who have been indicted or who there's an arrest warrant out for. But in this new third world system that we're going into, there is a massive program, no exaggeration, it's got to be 50 times bigger than the Manhattan Project that they've been keeping quasi-secret because they don't want to have a public debate about militarization of police and all that's happening and the NSA spying. So they just deny it, deny it, deny it. That was in The Guardian yesterday, that federal agencies have a policy of lying. There's no stingray. There's no NSA. There's no plan to take your guns. There's no gun confiscations happening. This is not an assault. This is not an attack. So we're always debating with them whether it's happening or not. And they have this moral authority. There's no helicopters. There's no drills. Remember that going on 20 years ago, 15 years ago? We'd get the footage. 
I'd be attacked on hard copy, on extra, on CNN, on Fox News, in the Associated Press, local papers. I would go to these drills and have them break in my hotel room, harass me, try to set me up, just because they didn't want the public to know that they were there federalizing police and training them with the military. But now it's, of course we are, and we come in peace. But InfoWars, you can't come to our drill. Well, citizen reporters still go, and you're trying to take on the Tea Party. Well, I mean, sure, duh, we have all your manuals. We know <clears throat> two years ago it comes out, the Civilian Inmate Labor Camp, the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, and the internment resettlement operations for inside the U.S., you can just type in internment resettlement inside the U.S., re-education camps for Americans, Army document, and it was declassified. They didn't even hide the document. And it said, we'll process you by Social Security number, we'll put you in a re-education camp, try to give you a job on the outside. This is during collapse. And the troublemakers will be sent to a higher security facility. But everyone will be sent for re-education. I mean, that is so... Over the top, ultra epic. It's it's Army Regulation 210-35. Summary of change. And then it goes through your social security numbers, how to break the families up. And they went on national news. They went, Alex Jones is wrong. It's not for America. Thinking you're lazy and won't read the, the long document. Unclassified. There it is. On screen for TV viewers. I'm not trying to scare you. And I want to explain something. This is already going on. We already have the biggest prison population in the world. The borders have been imploded. I drove through East Austin yesterday, and there were just swarms of out-of-work people, of whites, blacks, Hispanics, all looking like zombies, just wandering around with plastic bags in their hands, old, young, sitting at bus stops with no jobs, guaranteed all on welfare. We have 100-plus million people on welfare. The country is a ticking time bomb. A time bomb. And you'll say, yeah, good thing the troops are training. Absolutely. The globalists create the atmosphere, the economic conditions, the breakdown. Just shutting down now over a 1,000 coal power plants in the last 10 years. The acceleration under Obama has more than doubled energy prices. That one move kept anybody from moving here to build factories. That one move decimated savings. That one move bankrupted countless businesses. That one move... We're under military attack. We've been conquered. We've been taken over. Now you're about to see the mop-up operation. And how are they going to have troops in every city and town that have already formed relationships with the police chief, the sheriff, and the local government through these Jade Helm operations? There's a big announcement there. How are they going to do that? They're going to stage false flags to demonize us, put the Internet selective kill switch in to shut down the blogs. They're in Congress calling anyone with the blog who opposes corruption a terrorist. We played the clips yesterday. You cannot make it up. We've expected it. We knew it was coming. It appears. And I never said this. I never thought Obama would try to stay in office. I never said that it would go this quick because they've already got us. But they know that people are waking up, so they want to finish us. And everything I'm seeing shows that they may actually stage imminent false flags and start the Civil War. Now, if we get really freaked out about this and really upset about this and speak out against this, they may be forced to go slower and back off. But they're testing right now. The military has the lowest morale ever recorded. Army morale low despite six-year optimism program. USA Today, Christians are leaving the military in droves because they've been told they're not welcome. That's in the news today. This is a purge, ladies and gentlemen, of anyone that is not a criminal. You need to understand, this is a takeover. And I've studied them in Russia. I've studied them in Germany. I've studied them in Cuba. I've studied them going back with Julius Caesar. We know, and every other mainline historian says we're in deep trouble. Top Nobel laureate just died and said he's afraid of global fascism. And uh, World War III, I mean, it, it, it is red level, people, red level. I have never been more concerned. I have never been more freaked out. I, I mean, this is it. They are, they have the safety off, their fingers on the trigger for a total takeover, and they are in the final phases of doing it. 
I can tell you right now, this is not a drill what we see going on. Every piece of humet we get in from the citizens out there, you, you wonderful patriots, black, white, Hispanic, old, young are sending us video. It's so wonderful to see us working as a team that is not commanded from any central zone. It's basically unstoppable without them totally unplugging the internet. Every th move they make, we're tracking it. But the problem is every piece of intel comes in and it's they're trying to take us on. They're trying to come to our houses and kill us if we resist. If not, we're going to be handed off to socialist re-educators in camps. And I'm just not going, man, for those people to come in there and try to turn me and make me serve them and make me go out and, you know, lie to people. I'm just not doing it. And my name, my family, everything's on the line. I hope you know that. But I'm not selling out to these people. But I'm telling you, it's real. They're getting ready to go operational. In a moment, I'm going to play the clip from Spokane, Washington, another clip from an Indiana Sheriff's Department, where they say two things. They say the NRAPs and the federal training are for veterans and sovereign citizens. Now, again, I don't need you to tell me that. I know what your ADL, Southern Poverty Law Center, federal brainwashing is. We've been blowing their operation from the beginning, tw 20 years on air. First, we're going to play the clip from Morgan County, Indiana, because I'm glad a listener called in yesterday and said, Alex, they're denying all this is for the Patriots. The police, when they get asked, say, no, it's for you. We got a lot of people with guns around here. Do you understand, folks? They're preparing to implode the economy. I mean, you think it's bad now. You ain't seen nothing yet. But again, they won't implode it unless they think we'll go along with it. It's not, it's not inevitable. We can still pull out of this. But the globalists are all moving to a distance before they blow the country up. Most billionaires have been evacuating to Switzerland, uh, to Iceland of all places, uh, to the Cook Islands, to New Zealand. I've been telling you this for six years, every day. Now it's in the London Guardian, now it's in the New York Times, now it's in the Jerusalem Post. All the billionaires have left Israel. All of them. Some still have small homes there, but they've, they've officially moved out to Switzerland and England and New Zealand. The, the top, I told you, the top movie stars, before it even happened, I told you they were moving by name. The maker of Titanic, you name it, have moved to New Zealand. They're all getting back before they blow the country up. And that's why they're willing to have a civil war here, because they're going to sit offshore... While we're in the fire, they're going to roast hot dogs like it's a like it's a, a camp out. It's funny to the globalist. They never get their hands dirty. They're going to sit here while the police and military destroy themselves fighting the American people. Can you imagine what the patriots, if 1% stand up, are going to do to the military and police? I hear this military line that we've tracked their ISPs. It's a, it's a megaphone. It's a, it's a sock puppet. Israelis call it megaphone, the Pentagon calls it sock puppet, fake computer. It'll be posted 20 times every five seconds on different pages. And the sock puppet, private companies have them, you know, it'll say, I made a lot of money doing this, working for Google. You know, most of it's corporate spam, but a lot of it's government. And we can track it even back to the PR firms that are doing it. We've done reports on it. And they're in there going, we got hellfire missiles and Apaches, we'll take you all out. Really, did, did you take the Iraqis out? How about the Afghanis? That's a tiny fighting force compared to the American people. And I'm not looking for this war. Because if we have this war, we've lost the first major phase. Winning is not having the war. Winning is having the states take things back and doing it peacefully and letting the globalists try a few false flags but exposing those. We can beat them. You've, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they want to have the false flag. And then when they try to come get our guns... They know people are going to start resisting, and I can't blame people. You know, they're trying to take you to re-education camp. And right now, they're just coming to talk to you about your guns with knock and talk from Dallas to Boston, from L.A. to Miami. They come, and we want to talk about your guns. We know we've seen your Facebook. You're a, you're a libertarian and a veteran. Now, it's we want you to come down to the thing and talk to us. They're just getting used to getting in the car and going. And then pretty soon, the truck pulls up. And a bunch of 20-year-olds get off with their guns and stack up to come in your house. That, let me tell all those young boys something. Only in the first phase are you going to have fun killing the vets and people. Within one day of you pulling this stuff, there's going to be major retaliation. 
major. When they bust a cap in my head, can you imagine what's going to happen? And that's their plan. And these pieces of crap are going to sit offshore and laugh the whole time as America tears itself apart. I'm sick of this crap. This is serious, people, and we've got to stop it right now. Are we this dumb? I'm trying to be controlled here, but let's go out to break with the county in Indiana talking about how it's for veterans. Here it is. Well, conspiracy theories are running wild tonight about the Army's plan for a multi-state training exercise this summer called Jade Helm 15. While the military says it's just training soldiers for the realities of war, critics say the Army is preparing for modern-day martial law. We really didn't have the, the violence that we see today. Um, the weaponry is totally different now than it was in, in my, the beginning of my career. That's Indiana. Um, plus, you have a lot of people that are coming out of the military that have the ability and uh -huh. the knowledge to, to build IEDs. They've and, done and nothing, and you blame them. Law enforcement techniques. See, folks, in video of them two days ago, training to attack sovereign citizens. They're training exactly for what. And then yes, Somebody is directing fire toward the team that's trying to get in. They, can, they safely can, they can pull right up to a front. Take enemy fire and still try to address a threat without being fear of getting shot. So I'm thinking that is totally appropriate in Iraq, but where, what kind of a situation in the U.S. would well, you see like that happening? I mean, we've got a lot of constitutionalists and a lot of people that, that stockpile weapons, a lot of, a lot of ammunition. I mean, we've got a lot of constitutionalists and a lot of people that, that stockpile weapons, a lot of, a lot of ammunition. They have, they have uh, you know, weapons here locally. So what happens if the PLR take over? A country run by terrorists ain't good. Bro, America was founded by terrorists for terrorists. What do you think the fucking revolutionary war was? History is determined by the fucking victim. How did you even get into the Marines? Who was the first terrorist organization in the United States? <clears throat> Who? Founding Fathers. Founding Fathers. You mean Thomas Jefferson? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, George Washington? Oh, yeah. Paul Revere? Yeah. Yeah. These guys right here, let me ask you something. Did they try to scare people? Oh, yeah. They tried to intimidate the British. Did they try to, did they use acts of violence? Your Founding Fathers, my Founding Fathers, were involved in acts of terrorism against British officials. Jade Helm troops to operate undetected amongst civilian population. And, of course, the military people and the vets are not buying any of it. They're not stupid. You can read about how it's to get the hearts and minds and how to get the public used to working and, and the local police working with the military. I mean, everybody who's been in the military knows about the secret EOD program going on for 18 years. Their whole ordnance disposal, you know, quote, the Army's going to show up to defuse a bomb. But then you get the internal agreements. It's for everything from warrant service to checkpoints with military personnel in nondescript blue jumpsuits, just like the Army Ranger called in and said they were wearing EPA blue jumpsuits. It's always blue or tan jumpsuits. And it might say EPA, it might say police, uh, it might say park circs. Training with the police, training with locals in plain clothes, quote, doing suspicious activities, is to train the police to work with the military in covert operations and to condition the military to accept it and to condition the public to accept it. And then when we cover it and talk about it, they practice the PSYOP in real time, putting out this information. I can see the script from Army Times to military.com to Stars and Stripes to Bloomberg to Daily Beast to Vice to the Houston Chronicle and no exaggeration today. You go search Jade Helm. There are now hundreds of articles, and in almost all of them, yours truly is being demonized. Jones, who's warned of an imminent takeover for decades, keeps claiming it's going to happen. But of course, it never does. No, it never does. Checkpoints. TSA.